Thank you for joining us for our Gospel Reflection from the Book of Common Prayer Lectionary. My name is Father Tom Papazoglakis, and I serve as rector at St. George's Episcopal Church in Clifton Park, New York. Today is the third Tuesday after Pentecost. Let us pray. O God, from whom all good proceeds, grant that by your inspiration we may think those things that are right, and by your merciful guiding may do them, through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Our lesson comes from the Gospel of Luke, the 19th chapter, beginning at the first verse. Jesus entered Jericho and was passing through it. A man was there named Zacchaeus. He was a chief tax collector and was rich. He was trying to see who Jesus was, but on account of the crowd he could not, because he was short in stature. So he ran ahead and climbed a sycamore tree to see him, because he was going to pass that way. When Jesus came to the place, he looked up and said to him, Zacchaeus, hurry and come down, for I must stay at your house today. So he hurried down and was happy to welcome him. All who saw it began to grumble and said, He has gone to be the guest of one who is a sinner. Zacchaeus stood there and said to the Lord, Look, half of my possessions, Lord, I will give to the poor, and if I have defrauded anyone of anything, I will pay back four times as much. Then Jesus said to him, Today salvation has come to this house, because he too is a son of Abraham. For the Son of Man came to seek out and to save the lost. Here ends the lesson. Our lesson today is about Zacchaeus, a tax collector in Jericho. Many who have been raised in the church know Zacchaeus because of the famous children's song based on this story. Like the blind man in yesterday's lesson, here was a person who was considered to be an outsider to his Jewish community. One who was supposed to be avoided or shunned was instead embraced and healed by Jesus. Scripture says that Zacchaeus was a rich man who probably gained his wealth at the expense of his community and neighbors. This may have even included taking advantage of people he had grown up with, some of whom may have even been his neighbors. This day, everything changed as Zacchaeus went to see the man about whom he had heard so much. Zacchaeus ran ahead of the crowd and climbed up a sycamore tree in order to see Jesus. Jesus knew the heart of this man as he acknowledged him with much more than a simple wave or verbal greeting. Jesus greeted him saying, Zacchaeus, hurry and come down, for I must stay at your house today. Jesus was going to be a guest in the home of the man who had taken so much from so many. As you can imagine, this also generated resentment from those who did not think Jesus should associate with the likes of a tax collector. Just as what often happens to us when Jesus steps into our lives, the life of this tax collector was changed forever. The wealth on which he staked his identity and place in the community suddenly fell from being first in his life as he promised to give to the poor and return fourfold to anyone whom he had defrauded. When you or I encounter the living God through Jesus Christ, that experience can empower us to have a total change of priorities. Jesus is the one who brings love, joy, and peace that goes beyond all understanding. Blessings that no amount of power, money, fame, or fortune can ever provide. Be ready to hear the words, I must stay at your house today. Let us pray. Almighty God, whom truly to know is everlasting life, grant us so perfectly to know your Son, Jesus Christ, to be the way, the truth, and the life that we may steadfastly follow his steps in the way that leads to eternal life. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, 
one God forever and ever. Amen. Thank you for joining us. Join us every weekday for our Gospel Reflection. If you live in the Clifton Park area, join us for worship at 4.30 on Saturday afternoons or 9 a.m. on Sunday mornings. If you're unable to join us in person, join us virtually through our YouTube channel. Check out our webpage for all in-person and virtual offerings.